Alright guys, uh, welcome back to Doozer Shop. We've got another unboxing video. Um, this one, uh, I don't know if it'll top the last one. We had a really good unboxing video with a, a very well packed um, machinist vise, a grinding vise. So well packed it had a, uh, a piece of oak wood where it was bolted through. But anyways, this is a chuck. This is a uh, a bison 10 inch lathe chuck. It's a three jaw chuck with uh, reversible jaws. I believe this is new old stock. I believe this was never run on a lathe. Um, I got it from eBay. It had the um, shipping grease on it. It had original stickers that I, I think it cautions on RPM or something. But uh, this took quite a while to get here. It was sent by uh, the postal service and uh, it took uh, about three weeks, and I just had to go pick it up at the post office because it got from uh, Connecticut, Unionville, Connecticut, to here in Charlotte, but the post people wouldn't deliver it because they said it was too heavy, but I don't know. I went down, I had the day off here for the Christmas season, um, so I uh, went down to the local post office here, Charlotte, and... Uh, Picked it up, and uh, it's quite heavy, 35 or over stickers on it. So uh, let's see how it's packed. And uh, we got lots of cardboard in here, all right? Got some cardboard, and uh, we got some styrofoam. Ooh. All right. Kind of give you a first glance. I'll, I'll just pick up the camera and we'll show you first up what I'm looking at. And uh, there's the name Bison. It's a real Bison. I think Bison offshored themselves, but it's a real Bison. Plenty of cardboard on the perimeter. And uh, uh, bolts. That's cool. Um, should be jaws. Yep. Get the nice uh, hard jaws in there. At least it's not packing peanuts. But I'd say it's well packed, you know? In the three jaws. All right, kind of good. Let me uh, let me just set you back, and we'll get this thing out. And the reason that I believe this chuck um, was uh, never used is it has the sticker on it. Read instructions do not use any extensions on the wrench, do not set. 
rotation with wrench and chuck use the correct size chuck for the gripping of each job okay so I gotta think that this chuck has never been mounted I just it doesn't look like it's ever been mounted looks like it's got three pinions and uh, like I said the bison moniker there the maker's mark uh, and look it it's got I think that's factory grease because it's got like this like peanut butter I've bought brand new bison chucks before for my lathes I, I haven't bought um, actual brand new from I think Enco or J&L or whatever but uh, it's got the original peanut butter that I remember and that sticker so anyhow um, quick video nice chuck um, nice hard jaws I mean yeah man this thing's never ever been used okay so that's good so let's check if the numbers match yeah let's see five one five seven five one five seven yep so th these are the jaws not too much other than uh it's gonna be a nice chuck for the Pratt Whitney if you might recall this lathe has a buck 10 inch uh, six jaw but doing some brass cutting there and it's missing three jaws right it's, it's just missing the jaws and these are sprung a bit uh, so it doesn't grip tight at the ends as it does in there it is a set true and I plan on making this bison a set true but that, that's uh, what it's going to go on is the uh, the mighty Pratt & Whitney lathe but that's it just a quick unboxing video uh, it's not as good as the vice unboxing but uh, with shipping and tax this was four hundred and eighty dollars a little less than five hundred dollars for a brand new never used made in Poland Chuck so anyways uh, hope you guys have a good uh, Christmas season good holiday season good New Year's and until next time this is Doozer's Shop